Hi everyone, welcome back to my uh, YouTube channel. I'm uh, Mix Medina. So, uh, and today uh, I'll be uh, demonstrating how to install and configure roles and features for a uh, print server as well as create a group policy to deploy newly installed printer on Windows Server 2025. So, uh, before doing the installation and configuration, uh, we need to download the any printer ins uh, installer or drivers so for me i already download the hp printer mfp m725 uh, pcl6 like that then i already uh, extracted the file so you need to extract the file so you will see all the files of the installer so okay let's hide this one uh, in the meantime we need to minimize and now I will uh, first I need to uh, add the roles and features the print server so to to add the roles you need to click this one add roles and features and click next then role based feature based installation okay click next then select the server click next then uh, find the print print and document services this one This is only one, right? Pin and document service. Okay, this one. Okay. So now add features. Click add features. Then um, click next. Then click next. Then what else? Click next. So make sure you this uh, role service is uh, uh, check for internet printing LDP service. We don't need this one. So click next install so let's wait until the installation uh, done so now the installation is done uh, you need to close let's close the this add the nose wizard close and that's it this is the print service so now we need to go to um, tools to configure so go to tools find the uh, print management this one click print management then once you click the print management uh, you need to click the print servers okay this one so as you can see there's a drivers forms ports and printers okay so uh, first we need to uh, install here the uh, the one we download the pr uh, printer driver okay so just right click add the driver then um, click next then make sure it's a uh, uh, x64 bit if you have a client with a 32 bit I will show you how to manage the installers with the both uh, 64 bit and 32 bit okay so click next So now uh, we need to uh, locate where's the installer. To do that, we need to click this have this. So I have the this. Then uh, browse, click browse. Then go to downloads. Where's the downloads? Okay. So this is the downloads. So this is the extract files. So. Just click uh, any file, then open. Just only to locate. Okay, so click OK. Then that's it. It's located now. The laser HP laser jet MRP M seven two five P C L six. So select this one. Continue. Then finish. So it takes time. It will install. Okay. So now the. Solar, the driver is already installed Then now we need to create a port so assuming the in, the printer is uh, the physical printer is uh, it's working so for now I don't have the physical uh, uh, printer so now we will uh, create a port so from the ports right click add the port then select the standard I will 
Okay. So, like a standard. Then, um, new port. Click new. Then, what is the IP address of the um, printer? So, if you have the IP address, like a static IP address of the printer, just put it here. 192.168.0. For example, like 5. So, this is my uh, static IP of uh, printer. So, the print, I don't have the printer, but uh, you can still create here the static IP. So, click next. Then, this one, it will uh, it will fail to uh, uh, detect because I don't have the physical printer. So, for this demo only, just uh, to show you how to uh, create a port. So, assuming we detect the printer, physical printer. So, this one is fine because I don't have the physical printer. Just uh, click next and finish. So, I created the um, standard TCP. IP port this one's uh, 192.168.0.5 so this is my static IP so now we need to install the printer so add the printer we need to add not install we need to add the printer here so click here right click add the printer so now we need to uh, add the new printer using existing port so this is the uh, existing port we created before so click here then this is the existing port I created Then click next then use the existing printer driver we just uh, install then this is the uh, yeah this is the driver then click next then you can just uh, rename so for example, this uh, printer is for IT department, so IT printer, IT, IT printer, location, you need to put the location, so uh, it will not, uh, you can uh, easily find this printer, which are uh, the location, so the location is, for example, main office, IT department, and the office. This is for IT stop printer like that. So click next, click next, then the printer will install to our print server. So let's wait to print uh, to uh, install. So now after completing the network printer installation, just uh, click finish. So now this is the printer. We installed so right click just right click and go to properties and let's see the sharing click the sharing tab then uh, make sure uh, make sure this is a check list in the directory so we can easily uh, detect from the client client laptops uh, that registered to our domains so Apply, click OK. So now we are done. That uh, we are uh, creating a printer in our print server. We already added one printer. So now, uh, as I told you before, that uh, we can uh, add another version of the printer, like a 32-bit printer. So if you have a client uh, laptops like a 32-bit, they need the uh, 32-bit uh, driver uh, for the printer so to add a driver you need to right click this printer and go to properties go to the sharing then uh, as you can see these drivers down additional drivers so so just uh, click additional drivers then uh, select uh, check this 32-bit uh, version then you can just click ok then you can um, uh, browse and uh, locate the downloaded 32-bit uh, driver for the uh, printer so that's it so also if you want to uh, if you want to 
update the driver uh, you need to go here in the advanced tab then uh, just uh, click new driver click install then you can just uh, install the newly uh, updated uh, uh, print, uh, printer driver okay and then also if you want to yeah if you want to set the uh, default settings of the printer just uh, go to properties go to preference then you can just uh, select whatever you want uh, what uh, format you want to print in the print printer so a4 like that specify plane leap over no like that then apply okay so that's it so no need to go to the printer it will automatically set the preference okay so next is uh, we will create the uh, group policy to uh, deploy this uh, printer okay so first we need to go to tools and um, group policy then um, let's check the sites to main this one and group here group policy so um, click new printer IT printer for example this is the for uh, IT printer so IT printer right click edit then uh, go to users configuration go to uh, preference then control funnel then printers right click click uh, shared new shared then uh, make sure this is a uh, update then we need to uh, locate the printer so as you can see we enable the list to our domain so it will detect automatically here so click this one then click ok ok apply ok so if you want to this one to set this printer as a default printer just click this one but for me I will not uh, do that next is uh, just apply apply ok now this is the um, IT printer if you want to add another printer for IT you can just add here let's uh, click new and same process okay and close this one now I will uh, find my IT stop this is the IT stop so I will uh, link the existing GPO I created so click the IT printer okay now let's see if this is working so it should be installed automatically on the printer so I will minimize this and this is my laptop for example this is my laptop so we will make a GP update CMD GP update of course or CMD plus admin GP date force. So let's wait to um, successfully update. Let's see. Can I check if it's the printer? It's already updated here. Printer scanner. oh now it's here so it's already here <laughs> okay so the printer is already installed so let's see also the G group policy GP result R okay it's here uh, applied group policy objects it's already applied IT printer then um, okay let's try to print for example uh, uh, assuming we have a printer this one is working so 
let's print another file print okay print and um uh, need to yeah print your it printer on uh ph this one from the our domain server so click this one okay copies and print okay now it's printing let's see to our um print server so as you can see i have a uh, two documents okay i don't know what happened i will uh, open the server and let's see the printer okay now uh, as you can see there is a uh, There's a job, print job, jobs, jobs in queue. Okay, so if there is a problem like this, you just open the printer queue. Okay, so you can just delete this, cancel. Okay, so that's it, it's working, it's printing. So now it's uh, already removed the one we print another print let's see so i will uh, not minimize the percent server so we have a uh, check if it's uh, working properly so this is the printer so i will print word print this is the printer and print so as you can see it will uh, one yeah there's a jobs in queue one so open the queue then remove cancel okay so again um thank you for uh, watching i hope you understand how to uh, um install and configure the print management uh, in the Windows Server 2025 and uh, how to uh, create a group policy to deploy the printers okay so thank you again and please subscribe and like my uh, tutorial thank you